Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's, it's great to get back together again. And as I've promised um, during our first initial meeting, uh, we've taken the time to interview some of the uh, organizational team uh, leaders and to come up uh, to see uh, what's affecting the organization and, um, and how we can move forward. So the interview method was used to gather data at, uh, at the organization at TLG. Um, the, inver the following interview guidance were followed during the data gathering. Interview guide, guide was uh, prepared and with an open end, end question. The participants were selected, participants were contacted and scheduled for an interview. And, and we've established um, uh, uh, the wrap up. And now we are good at, uh, good at a very good spot right now. And I have all the data to share with you. Um, and thank you very much for being part of the interview and to, um, uh, to allow this process to, uh, to go forward. And hopefully we'll be at, uh, at a better place once we get this all um, uh, clarified for uh, all of us. The areas of an interview questions, uh, the interview questions mostly target areas and among the areas that I wanted to, to look at and trying to figure out what's going on with the, the organization at this point is uh, and, 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 and coming up with the questions. And so with the questions and I have targeted those areas and areas of roles and responsibilities with the leaders um, and, and those roles and responsibilities, those positions uh, what are the, the successes? What are the highlights that they can share and things that they wanted to see going forward and things that are done well and things that need to be improved, teams, uh, mm, uh, how to collaborate teams and how to uh, fix uh, relationships if there is any issues in those areas. So we assessed the relationship, the collaboration processes and the anticipated changes uh, or, or how t we wanted to see effectiveness in, in, in the coming months and years. So 10 people were selected for an interview and the interview was conducted and I've, I, have, I, have used, I have looked at a few of you areas where um, and I think uh, are very important to share with you today. So in general, generally in factors that are affecting the performance of the organizations, and I looked at those in general through all the interview questions and, and, and analyzed some of those, so some of the data and, and came up with, uh, with a few ideas and that we're gonna be um, um, making the, the list shorter as we go and when we get to the teams that what we came up with, I came up with. So I used the data analysis um, system and I used the inductive approach approach here and through the interviews so I looked at the issues and I said what are how do we name them what are they can we identify them so in generally I looked at a whole bunch of stuff and then I came up with those ideas and but I have about five teams that I would like to share with you first couple a few ones that I've looked at generally uh, the rapid goals is going on here which is positive things for us and when there's a rapid goals and there is an inadequate uh, inadequacy to to manage it and this is this is a normal um, a circumstance for a lot of organizations and structurally um, sometimes uh, um, we get understaffed when we have uh, rapid goals lack of regional specific trainings and when if you're going across the uh, the nation or, or or across the world and trying to implement our uh, or sell our, our products to others a lack of same standard would be an issue when we do that because we're going cross-cultural, we listen to a different settings and different cultures. Quality control mechanisms could be um, remote in some cases and we might not going to be able to handle it and that affects the performance and the quality of our, our products. And the communication can be an issue as well because of language issues, cultural issues and other barriers that we can go through. All right, so. Today, I have you here to just really communicate with you key teams identified from the data collected. What are the team, key teams that we have to look at? What is affecting our organization? Where are we with all those? So I'm gonna share those with you one by one. I came up with about five of them, five big teams that we need to take a look at it. And I might have some ideas under under those teams that I might share with you some of the metaphors and kind of languages and that the data showed 
uh, that uh, indicates that those schemes are really are those issues are the issues that we are struggling with. The first one is um, our training is inadequate. So it's, it's an adequate product training standard for all regions affecting the performance of the organization. So we, we have a training process. There's a training process that we're using. That training process is affecting, um, affecting the, uh, uh, the, the performance of the organization because the training wasn't standardized. Uh, or there is no requirement for others to follow. And if others don't follow, and there is also a new product coming every now and then, and we can't get to it um, with the training um, process that we wanted to get to those products and sometimes there, there will be it will be a struggle so inadequate products training standard for all regions affecting the performance of the organization how the, the that's that that does it that that affects the organization in in several ways if we can standardize it that region especially if we are going cross-cultural if we don't have a region specific training that affects the performance if the knowledges are not shared across the nation, across the world, um, across the other uh, um, Europe and Asia where we're trying to implement our products and sell our products, that affects, that affects the effectiveness of uh, um, uh, our, our sales or in, and uh, performance in the organization. Visions and directions are, cannot be clear because we are growing so fast and there are a whole bunch of stuff that we have and we're struggling. And there are names that will come up, and sometimes people, and, and, and tell us and say so and so is always coming up with new ideas, and and we are overwhelmed with a new idea. So it, if there is a training standard in place, we don't have one, and people will come up ideas and ideas, ide ideas, and get overwhelmed, and performance will be affected. Role and responsibilities are vague sometimes if there is no standardized training um, across the nation. Um, products errors can happen because the trainings are not adequate enough. Uh, complicated training materials are sometimes very hard to go through, and some most of the time when we we have a lot of products to work with, and simplifying those products and, and trainings are helpful. So the second one I came up is the team I came up from the data collection is lack of adequate communication of organizational vision between regional leaders and team of the organizations is identif identified as a concern. So another concern is that the team, the second one tells me that, that there is a communication, organizational communication issues. Our visions are not shared very well. And the future is not very clear because we are overwhelmed by what is we, we're doing right now. And, and we're living a day by day. Failure to inform teams with new ideas could be a problem in that circumstances. All regions cannot share equal information because of communication issues, uh, predictability, or no vision organization, and it, it really uh, struggles and that's a hindrance to uh, communication of an organization of this size. Affecting regional relationship, uh, it affects um, uh, relationship with other nations and if the, we don't communicate very well. And sometimes even if there is no effective communication, people tend to go their own way and do it the way they wanted to do it. And it's that will cause that bring in a bad relationship. Uh, vision and goal communication issues always affects the, um, the organization's effectiveness or performance. The third, the third theme I came up with is leader vision and goal communication is inadequately structured to address the organizational need globally. We're going globally and we're, we're, we're doing our businesses, but the communication is not effective. And I've heard a few times that people saying they don't listen to us. So if there is no communication and people don't listen, if the communication is not clear, people don't want to waste time because the performance is required and people trying to perform and trying to get to the business and when there is no communication they take the matter to themselves and then that affects the performance uh, sales driven vision it will be sales driven vision if there is no communication and sales driven vision leadership is not not in uh, the best quality and communication is not uh, effective people will will just do what they can uh, no emphasis on quality control mechanisms. When there is no communications, people want to get get through the day. There will not be any quality that affects the 
the effectiveness of an organization in, 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 a, in, a, in today's world where the competition is high in that effect. Lack of two ways of communications. And, and if only things come from above and what the team says, it's not getting it to the others and that, that effect as well. And clear future directions. If there is no communication, people don't know what's coming up and people don't understand what the future holds for them. The fourth team that I came up with is the organization is perceived as being understaffed and that is affecting individuals' job assignment, accountability and responsibilities. Sometimes if you're understaffed and your accountabilities are overwhelming, account responsibilities are overwhelming, the quality of the work that you do will be affected and that affects the performance. And people have different metaphors that you can use to, to, to describe those things in the organization. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm tripping over everyone. My workload is a joke. Get the real about it. And things like that. Handshake, hand off. There's no communication. It's, just, it's you do it, and if you don't do it, that's it kind of thing. So there's no effective communications. Individuals, assignments, job responsibilities, and accountabilities are not clear, and that affects the performance. The fifth one and the last one I came up with is rapid goals. Are rapid growth, which is internal pressure, and external pressure, which is coming from the competitors, uh, is driving the force of current strategy. Sometimes our strategies are really trying to, trying to survive, not trying to deliver. So organizations who can't deliver and play, play survival and, 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 and lose it. I lose it really and we have 18 different products and 75 different versions that we need to work with there are updates every day and the requirements that we have to go through and rapid growth should consider uh, the effectiveness of glo uh, the effect of globalization globalization effects when there is a rapid growth in an organization especially if you're working with other nations as you go um, um, as you grow so fast there are a lot of details that you need to pay attention to. So to go back and take a look at it, and the first uh, one I can go back and kind of, kind of tell you, number five is rapid goals, internal pressure, or uh, competition, external pressure is driving the, the force of current uh, strategy. The strategy should not come from there, the strategy should, com should come from the organization and the organization's mission. The second one, or the fourth one, going backward, the organization is perceived as being understaffed and that is affecting the individual job assignments and accountability and responsibility. Um, the, third, the third one, leading visions and goal communication is inadequately structured to address the organization's needs globally. Um, the going backwards again, uh, the fourth one is lack of adequate communication of organizational vision between regional leaders and team of the organizations identify, identified as the areas of concern. Um, the fourth one, or the, ver the, the last one, is inadequate product training standard for all regions affecting the performance of the organization. So I went down one through five, and I went back from five to four, so we can see as the um, uh, what 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 those teams that we can I came up with. Uh, those are the team that I identified from the data collected. It's a it's a challenge for the the organization. The organization has a, a lot of issues um, in TLG communications are not effective, um, trainings are not done adequately, that people don't understand even the, um, their products and they don't know what it is and also there is a, if there is any change in the products and they don't communicate. So the biggest part I looked at it is the leaders are not actively involved and if they are and they're not they're, they're overwhelmed with the rabbit goals so there is no communication communication of uh, mission and vision there is no communication of um, products new findings or updates and upgrades and those are uh, of, often get to the, the team um, a last minute and the team is not 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 understanding uh, taking a look at really what it is and to understand and to uh, perform better so the company is stretched all over the all over the nation and, and competing at the same time with a, a, a lot of other um, uh, companies that are providing the same the same sort of product out there. 
So the strategy is based on competing, but not delivering the quality. So the competition can go on for a while, but if you're competing to win, but you're not delivering to compete with quality, and you don't have any mechanisms in place that will maintain that quality to make the best, to make you the best, and you struggle and you fail. You might be effective for now because you're all over the place and you can, you can attack the market from, from Europe, from Asia, from other places. So you can take, the, take care of those, those areas. But if you're not delivering the quality of the quality products that the, the customers are looking for, and it, it, it will come back in an effect. So I looked at huge communication issues between the leaders, the team, the product engineering, the salespeople, and then also with they're spending more time and training than on getting the job done. And the other thing that I, I really personally, personally questioned as I was going through is um, some of those positions, people who are involved in, in interview, um, they've had some, it's some interesting stuff. Maybe this might not be as, as big of a deal for others to see, but I, it, it caught my attention. And except two of them who have got about 8 and 11 years experience in the company, some of them have been only there two years and three years and a year and 11 months and a short amount of time. But I, am, I was concerned about that this problem, people are not on People are just new and in that position. Why, why are they new? What happened? Uh, the company has been around, but why those leaders are brand new right there? So the turnover, employee turnover is what, what caught my attention. And, and I'm saying maybe the company is not doing effectively well on the leadership is really, really not very good. But people are leaving. So these new people are coming in. If you have new products that you need to deliver, if you have new products that you need to um, get to the market, if you need to train a lot of people and get in those, and you're just coming in, you came in a year ago, 12 months ago, and trying to get something done, that is kind of hard for an organization. It's a turn, employee turnover issues that I saw. And I looked at those dates and I said two years, three years, four years, and five years. What is that other issues that is causing that? I think it's part of part of it is, and I see that's a leadership communication issues. The leadership are just sending from top to down and asking others to perform and deliver the performance that they're requiring for. But that performance cannot be delivered unless the company is working hard harder in providing the communications to all the team and then also sometimes listening to the team and what the team wants the organization to look like so I had some of the metaphors that I've seen in the notes and some of the um, ideas that were discussed uh, during an interview were kind of interesting uh, to me as I was going through and looked at it um, for example and I can I can I can take a look at it here and say um, when the when people were interviewed were ex trying to, to trying to explain how 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 hard it is to work in the organization and that they're they're short-handed and they don't they're understaffed and they don't have people that to help out this is the words that they've used and I took it as a metaphor tripped over and tripping over others and the workload being as a joke. Um, in asking each, each other and, and even telling the, the, the consultants to get real about this and it's a joke and the workload is um, overwhelming and when people communicate and give uh, pass the product or communication information to each other and it was it was um, it was uh, uh, it, it was this word was used handshake hand off um, kind of thing, and it's just your responsibility. I'll give it to you, you do whatever you want with it, kind of thing, and there's no responsibility and accountability attached to it because of um, the communication issues. Uh, those are some of, some of the things that uh, caught my attention as I looked at it, and uh, I hope this is done well, 
and it was a challenge for me to really go through this and 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 come up an idea and trying to see what teams i have to come up in and and see where the organization is heading and what the problem is uh, i hope this um helps thank you